Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. The entire transcript of this with all my sources will be posted at Rumble, not YouTube, because YouTube sucks. So I did a little ditty, quite a lengthy essay. I'm not going to cover all this. I'm going to cover some of the high points, and then I'm done because I've got stuff to do. Joe Biden's sham victory in 2020, and why ranked choice voting sucks. So one point I'd like to make, uh, Joe Biden, as well as a lot of other presidents, captured enough electoral votes in states where they did not attain a popular vote majority, yet became president. That happened with Trump in 2016. It happened with Joe Biden in 2020. Do you know Ronald Reagan in 1980 captured almost half of his electoral votes from states where he didn't get 50%? Is anyone going to argue that Reagan's victory, even though he got over 50% in the national popular vote, think anyone can argue that Reagan's 1980 victory was not seismic? So Alaska, got a lot of data on that. Enjoy. Alaska implemented uh, ranked choice voting because there's too many dang races. And this started in 2004. Prior to 2004, there was only one Senate race in Alaska where the winner did not get a popular vote majority. But they were all hot and bothered because people aren't getting 50%. And that means what? Like I told that to my dad and he goes, well, so what? And I agree. So what? Interesting thing about Alaska's races from 2004, all their election cycles for the Senate from 2004 to 2020, they do have a high percentage of races where nobody gets 50%. But about a tenth of all the races in the Senate at that time, a little over 10% of them have cases where the winner did not get a popular vote majority. However, you start running the data on this, and I've got all the data there, so you can check it out. Alaska, the uh, margin of victory in Alaska's Senate races where nobody got 50% plus one, is actually higher than the national average. In fact, one standard deviation higher when you separate Alaska. From 2004 to 2020, only including Alaska's Senate cycle, so this is not every Senate cycle, Alaska's uh, margin of victory in races where the winner did not get 50% is one standard deviation higher than the average for all other races. There were 23 Senate races in those cycles where the winner did not get a popular vote majority. And again, I say, so what? All that means is people are probably a little disaffected by the Republicans and Democrats, and I frankly don't blame them. So Alaska instituted this ranked choice voting bullcrap to save Lisa Murkowski. She was defeated in one primary. Uh, she got a stiff challenge in another one. And if uh, they'd had a normal primary this year, Kelly Shibaka probably would have taken her out. And then she would have had to mount a write-in campaign to save her butt again, as she did 12 years ago. Or she could just go away, which would be preferable. Lisa Murkowski, if you do happen to watch this video, go away. Just In fact, you should resign your Senate seat tomorrow. You are a piece of garbage. The weird thing is they take the top four. So they took the top four, and they, and they do the, they finagle this on purpose. The, there were two heavyweights in this race, Murkowski and Shabaka. And they got over... I'm going to run the numbers in my head real quick. A, uh, about 83, a little over 83% of all the votes. The next two candidates, third and fourth place, that moved on to the general, didn't even sniff 10% combined. So they did that on purpose so they could let Democrat voters, and it was Democrat voters that saved Murkowski. It was Patricia Chesbro's voters who, after they voted for her, they picked Murkowski second. That's the only reason she's still there. Now, people could say, well, Murkowski could have mounted a write-in campaign and still won anyway. Well, yeah. But what they should have done, I would suggest if you're going to do ranked choice voting, you only take people that get 25% of the vote plus one. Because you got a couple idiots who didn't even get 10%. They were lightweights. So I'm going to try not to get too long-winded here. This really pisses me off. Um, <clears throat> another thing, now the groups that favor ranked choice voting, they're also doing a lot of whining and crying that some states are closing their primaries. If you're a green, I don't want Green Party nut jobs voting in the Libertarian Party primary, if there is one, or I don't want those Green Party nut jobs voting in the Republican primary. If you want to vote in the Republican or Democrat primary, you should register with them, but they're whining because they want, we want these other voters, you know, to have a voice. Well, like Gary Johnson mentioned in 2016, and I voted for him in 2016, I voted for Donald Trump in 2020. There are enough voters who are not affiliated with just, if you take just voters who aren't affiliated with the Republicans or Democrats, they outnumber the Republicans alone or Democrats alone. Now, if they were really, really wanted a third party, all those people had to do was get together and vote for the libertarian candidate, and we would have had a libertarian president. But they don't want to. 
So they're, they're not trying to get third party voters involved. They're trying to get those third party voters to do. And I voted for a lot of third party people. I have. So you're talking to someone who's done that, who's thrown their vote away, if you want to call it that. They want those people to decide the election. And if you're going to throw your vote away on the Libertarian candidate or an Alaska Independent candidate or some Green Party whack job who's never had a job, like Fetterman, then you do that. So I would advise you to, and I've got a lot of info there, go read it for yourself. If you'd like to read, there's plenty of reading there for you. Tell your state officials to close your primaries. If you want to vote in the Republican primary, then take the time. It's not that hard to get registered as a Republican and then vote in their primary or the Democrat primary. But they, so they're whining about closed primary. We, you can't, you're not letting us vote in the Republican or Democrat primary. Well, register with them then, dummy. And these are the same, these groups are actually complaining that closed primaries are voter suppression. No, nobody's keeping you from voting. Get off your fat ass and register with one of those parties. Or get your buddies together, your non-affiliated buddies, which outnumber the Republicans alone or Democrats alone in most states, and get a Libertarian or some third-party guy elected to the Senate. Or give their electoral votes in some state to one of them. That Maybe that would, in a presidential election, that would get the ball rolling. So, yeah, I have to say, ranked choice voting is a bunch of garbage. If I was going to do it, another thing, if I, I told you what I do in Alaska, is 25% of the vote plus one vote. Another way I might do it, <clears throat> which would be preferable, have the Republicans have their primary. Of course, Alaska did that that way. 19 candidates. Nobody's going to get 50%. It's guaranteed. They did that so they could winnow it down to four, and there'd be no independent candidates getting in there. But have every Republicans, Democrats, Libertarians, Greens, Alaska Independents, any, have their nominations. They're, you know, nominating conventions, whatever. And then Murkowski would have been defeated and you'd be down to, what, four or five candidates. Maybe some indie candidate would go in there and then do it in the uh, the general election instead of the primary. So, yeah, this a uh, number of states have banned this. So if your state hasn't banned it, get a hold of your elected officials and just uh, kibosh this uh, for the entire state. This ranked choice voting is a bunch of garbage and it saved Lisa Murkowski. And again, I'll mention real quick, Look at all those presidential elections where the person who won a majority in the Electoral College won a whole bunch of electoral votes in states they didn't get 50% in, but nobody cared because, well, I don't think they care because they won. But they're going to try to do it in states like Alaska so they can save Lisa Murkowski's rear end because she would have been gone. So I digress. Have a nice day and uh, see the information in the transcript on Rumble. A la Colombo. Just... Just one more thing. I have to mention this quick. Uh, Greg Orman was one of the guys that mentioned this, too. He was a sham candidate in Kansas when the Democrats didn't run a uh, a candidate. And he was promoted as an independent, which the Democrats were backing to try to fool Kansas's voters into electing a stealth Democrat. It didn't work, though. But Greg Orman goes, er, these people are, uh, you shouldn't have to choose. He was for ranked choice voting because uh, uh, yeah, 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 people are throwing, choosing at least the candidate that are voting against someone else. They're holding their nose. That's what he said. They're holding their noses. So that's why there's all these voters who don't bother to affiliate with a party and they outnumber Republicans alone or Democrats alone. And then when it gets down to you know what cut in time, I'm not going to say it because... This is a family show. They they still overwhelmingly vote for the Republicans or Democrats. It, it doesn't sound to me like they're holding those. He talks about the least preferred candidate. I'll tell you who the least preferred candidates are, Greg. It's the people getting 2 and 3%. It's the Libertarians and the Greens. Uh, if you can talk, you know, if there's four major parties, two big, you know, you got the what they call the duopoly, the Republicans and Democrats, and the Libertarians and Greens are nipping at their heels. But, no, they're... It's not the least preferred candidates, Greg Orman, are the people getting two and three percent. So, yeah, that's a bunch of horse crap. This uh, ranked choice voting, I also debunked the it's a single transferable vote crap. So, uh, again, please write your legislators and make sure next session you guys kibosh any ranked choice voting in your state. Have a nice day, and uh, Mr. Chairman, I finally yield back.